Tbilisi is my home city um, and I finished school here, the Russian school, because I'm an Armenian in Georgia. My family is Armenian family. I grew, I grew up with my uh, sister, grandmother and aunt. I finished the school. After the school I had some college, but because of the situation of my family, I didn't finish it. And, uh, yeah. Because I was growing up without the father, and with, um, I had my parents. Uh, my mother was working all the time, so she was coming at home about uh, half, somewhere at 11 or 12 o'clock at night. My father all the time he was in a uh, prison, and actually now for now he is in a prison again. It's like the sixth time or something else. So, and. Um, it was funny that uh, once for one month I was in one space in jail with my father. <laughs> it was <laughs> very funny, especially in Georgia when you are growing up without the father or the parents. Like, um, and uh, the street it's only one place when you have something to learn or when you have some support and everything else. Uh, it was a really hard time. Home wasn't my favorite place for all my young life so uh, in the streets I have everything I have I had a power I have friends I, I was doing what I want I will sleep at home sometimes not sometimes in the street sometimes with my friends uh, I was stealing I was uh, smoking I was drinking I, I think I I tried everything what it was possible to try on the streets of Tbilisi I was angry I was uh, angry on my family, I was angry on my parents, I was angry on my little sister and even now I don't, want, I don't know why, but, but it was me all those times. My favorite fun days it was when I was stealing something with my friends and then we were uh, running from the police. To be honest, I was searching God for many times in a different uh, place. I was an Orthodox, I was uh, the Buddhist, I, I was a not believer, just an atheist. Uh, and um, when I was my last few months in the jail, uh, I started to uh, visiting the Orthodox churches because it's an only one church in the prisons. And I start to pray by myself. And when I went out from the prison, I was a kind of the Orthodox. I felt that God is somewhere, and I felt that He is looking for me, and I looking for Him. But I, I was not able to find the place. <laughs> I met my wife on the streets. I knew. Uh, his cousin was my friend and we met each other on the streets and after this uh, we fell in love. <laughs> before I went to the jail, one month before it, we were together again and we decided to uh, become a wife and a husband to create a family. But then I go to the jail, then there was war here. We signed. Uh, before the government and uh, she uh, became my wife when I was in the prison. My wife was working for a Salvation Army in an after-school program. So well, sometimes when I have no things to do <laughs> and I had a lot of time, uh, I was attending to the uh, Central Corps in the Tbilisi Central Corps. She knew that she wants to become a Salvation Army officer uh, since she uh, became a junior soldier. Uh, in 2001 and she was praying for me she was fasting she was praying uh, a lot and in 2010 in November I became a Christian in the Salvation Army I found the hope which I was looking for a big family and after this my life has changed totally changed because um, I really know that I'm a new creation in a God, and not only I. When I'm not in the uniform, I'm still in the uniform <laughs> uh, all the time. Yes, uh, behind these two tattoos, um, I have a criminal tattoos, which uh, have their meaning 
here was a lizard which was in the fire and it means that uh, police will never catch me, but they did. And uh, behind this cross, this is a very special tattoo for me. Behind this cross, it's a um, um, swastik cross. I'm the Salvation Army uh, Minister since the, um, 2011, in February. The day when we decided to become soldiers, we decided to become uh, officers. I want to share my story. I want to share uh, the God's story because I know that it works. It can change the life. In Georgia, the jails and the prisons, it's not the place where people are changing their lives. They have some opportunities, but because of the because it's still part of the Soviet Union uh, system, uh, it's a place where people are punishing. It's a really bad place. Just nothing. Just place where you are spending your years and sometimes two, sometimes three, sometimes 20, 25 years. And um, when you're coming out, you are still the person who is angry on everyone. This year we will try to work with the probation uh, with my wife. It's the people who is uh, coming out from the prisons and they still have some years uh, to be connecting with the probation and the justice office. So uh, they're going through the special programs uh, where they are under on the uh, patronage uh, from the people, from the government. And it is a volunteering program uh, when once or twice in the months we will meet these people who is coming out from the prison. We will speak with them, we will spend an hour and, or hour and a half uh, with them in the cafe or just walking on the streets, speaking about the lives and uh, probably this is a time when we can share the news about the Jesus. This is um, young people, uh, ladies, uh, men who was in the jail for a long time. So we will work with them as they are probationers. It's eight months program uh, which in uh, the, sponsors, uh, the sponsors of this program is the uh, European Union. So we hope and we are praying that uh, in the future uh, the Solution Army will be able to take this program. I can say that there is a hope, that there is a hope in Jesus. That all my life I was felt emptiness here, you know, Nothing was uh, the thing which can fill you from the inside. Trust me, when you are um, feel Jesus, you feel the Holy Spirit, you feel the Christian life, this joy and the peace and everything, uh, you will never want to say uh, no to the Jesus. If you are looking for a family, Jesus will give you this family. Uh, all the believers who is united in the Holy Spirit will become your family. If you are searching for a father, we have a heavenly father. If you are searching for a friend, Jesus will be your friend. And if you are searching for help, you can call the Christians. You can call me.